Live in Western Oregon, you're watching KMTR News Source 16, and this is News Source at 530. A local repairman is being hailed a hero after saving the life of a customer in Albany. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Amanda Zitzman. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ty Steele. And our top story, News Source 16's Jared Tilber talks with the wife of that man who's now recovering in the hospital. And she says if it weren't for this technician, her husband might not be alive today. Yeah, talk about being in the right place at the right time. That repairman, Ryan Kirkpatrick, says his Sunday actually began pretty poorly. But looking back now, if it weren't for that rough start, he says he may not have been able to help the guy. He was our angel that day. Ryan Kirkpatrick arrived at the Darcy home around 8.30 Sunday morning. But the DISH network technician didn't have the right part. So he left, returning to the Albany house just before noon. As he worked on the television, attention soon turned to 75 year old Gary Darcy. He just stretched all the way back, just almost like a bed, flat. And he did this, and he turned beet red and made a grunting sound. His wife knew something was wrong. While she called 911, Kirkpatrick started using the medical training he'd received years earlier. I pulled him down onto the floor, laid him out flat, and uh and I started chest compressions. For 15 minutes, he continued performing CPR on the unresponsive man until first responders arrived. Paramedics even told the family that if the repairman wasn't at the Darcy's Albany home, Mr. Darcy probably would not have survived. His wife agrees, saying she will forever be thankful to the man. Repairmen don't usually get a chance to be a hero. You know, and he was. <laughs> Kirkpatrick says he simply did what was needed and is thankful he could help. It, it had been one of the worst days, and then all of a sudden it, it, it was like I was called on to do this, and I, I just went ahead and took care of it. Doctors are optimistic that Gary Darcy will be able to return home later this week. His wife hopes they can both thank the man responsible for his survival in person. Live in the studio, Jared Tilber, News Source 16.